Well, thanks to new technology, local farmers can now grow crops even in the dead of winter. That's right, Stacey Delacat shows us how in this month's Big Idea. Inside this 300,000 square foot greenhouse in Riverhead, Long Island, a farming revolution is flourishing. It's not what's being grown, but how it's being grown and when. We're not blessed with warm weather year round on Long Island. When most traditional farmers on the East Coast wrap up their growing seasons in late fall, Carl Gabrielson is just getting started. There's a tremendous market. I mean, we have how many? 15 million people within a 40, 50 mile radius, and we can't feed them. We can't feed ourselves year round anymore. But is this changing that? It's definitely changing that. Gabrielson's family has grown flowers here since the 1950s, but they used to take the winter off. Then, a few years ago, Carl discovered a method that would enable him to produce viable crops in the off season, regardless of the weather. Hydroponic is grown exclusively in water. Hydroponic farming, growing plants indoors without soil, originated more than 60 years ago, but it was only recently the practice took off. This is a high-speed bullet train. <laughs> Dixon de Pommier is an emeritus professor of public health at Columbia University and the author of The Vertical Farm, Feeding the World in the 21st Century. Well, hydroponic farming in general has been on the upswing because of climate change issues, particularly um, severe weather patterns. Growing hydroponically allows farmers to cheat the seasons, but it's also brought fresh produce to places where there's no room to grow the traditional way. De Pommier helped create the concept of vertical farming, which is just what it sounds like, growing food from the bottom up. It's happening around the world, like right here in Newark, where Aero Farms will open the world's largest vertical farm in the coming months. That's not going to be the only one in another five years from now. You're going to see lots of those springing up all over the place. There's nothing that you can't grow hydroponically. Out in Riverhead, Gabrielson Farms is producing up to 6,000 heads of lettuce a week, as well as greens like bok choy and herbs like basil and parsley. This is a lettuce seed. It's encapsulated in a pellet. As with any kind of farming, it starts with a seed. But as head grower Dave McLaren showed us, the only planting happens in these small trays. Special LED lights simulate the sun's glow and warmth. Transplant is ready to go out into the greenhouse now to be planted into the uh, troughs. That's where the water comes in. It lays in the trough like this and all we need to do is wet these roots about every four or five hours. Contrary to what you might think, this process actually saves water. Uh, let's take a head of lettuce we grow outside in the field. You would need about 50 gallons of water to produce that head of lettuce. And here with the uh, hydroponics we use between one and two gallons of water per head of lettuce. The water is recycled in these big tanks. There's no waste. There are also no pesticides. Gabrielson uses insects to control the population of damaging aphids. Years ago, you know, you saw, if you saw, uh, let's say, an aphid, you would get out the pesticides and just blast away, you know. Now we release parasitic wasps. They'll hatch and they'll just search out the aphid. This is the finished product, and the head of lettuce inside this clamshell is actually still alive. Fun fact, it'll stay alive and even stay fresh as long as the root is still attached, sometimes for up to two weeks. And Gabrielson boasts this lettuce is more nutritious with the roots left on. Very fresh. See, I'm, I'm hungry for lunch, so I can just give Sit some dressing. We put a little wait, on right wait, here wait, and just wait. eat this. We're, we're set to go, you know. As Gabrielson's lettuce winds up in supermarkets and restaurants, on Long Island and vertical farming begins to serve more produce starved urban communities. Hydroponic farming is feeding global demand for healthy, locally grown food year round. Stacey Delicat, Fox 5 News. Pretty interesting stuff. That's One additional cool. note most of the Gabrielson Farm greenhouse is wow. powered by solar energy. All right, to learn more about hydroponics and vertical farming, we've set up a link on our website.